Hey guys, I'm Janelle, and I'm going to show you how to find the determinant of a matrix. If you think of a matrix as representing a transformation, the determinant is kind of like the scale of that transformation. And they're useful for a couple things. You can use them to find the inverse of a matrix, or to solve a system of linear equations. So there's more than one way to find the determinant, but I'm going to show you how to do it using cofactor expansion. Expansion basically means the mess is going to get bigger before it gets better, but it's not that bad. So let's do it! So before you even try to find the determinant of a matrix, you should know that you can't find the determinant of any rando matrix. You can only find it for square matrices. And you probably remember that a square matrix is one with the same number of rows and columns. So you can find the determinant for a 2 by 2 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix, but not for the 2 by 3 matrix. Squares are better anyway. They make things a lot easier, and I like easy. So these are some of the ways to write the determinant of a matrix and equation. This symbol is exactly the same as the absolute value symbol, but on a matrix or matrix variable, it means you'll find the determinant. Some people write DET, which is pretty self-explanatory, but you may also see DET without the parentheses. Apparently, it's hard to get everyone to write it the same way. Okay, so now, how do you actually find the determinant? Two by two matrices are the easiest matrices to find the determinant for, but what's really important is that you need to know how to do a two by two matrix before you can do larger matrices. So let's see how to do it. So you start by multiplying the elements on the diagonals of the matrix, like this. Starting with the top left corner, you multiply that element by the bottom right corner. Then you do the same with the other two elements. Next, subtract the results of the second multiplication, and the answer is going to be the determinant. So here's an example. So the math here is really basic. You really just need to remember that you start in the top left, you multiply on the diagonals, and then subtract to get the answer. So how about a harder one? Finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is a bit more complicated, so I'll go step by step. The trick to doing this is to break the process into parts that are more manageable to do. If we look at each element in the top row, we can find the determinant of the other rows with respect to that element. It's a little confusing, so I'll show you. Looking at the first element, we can take all of the elements that are not in the same row or column and make a new matrix. We find the determinant of that and then multiply it by the element. So for B1, The big thing to remember is that you take the elements that are not in the same row and column as the element you're looking at. So for B1, you don't use these, you use these. And finally, so now what do we do with the results? Well, like the 2x2 two two matrix, we'll subtract the second result, but for the third result, we'll add it. And as the matrices get bigger, this is a pattern you can remember. You'll alternate between subtracting and adding the results. So this equation calculates the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. You don't have to memorize it. Just remember the patterns. So if we did this with numbers, this is what it would look like. That's a lot of work, I know, but you can see with a real one how it all boils down to a single number. So now, 
how do you find the determinant for bigger matrices? For bigger matrices, the way you find the determinant is basically the same. You break the matrix up into smaller matrices and find the determinant for those, then combine the results. The trick here is that you can't immediately break up the matrix into two by two matrices. You can only break it up into matrices that are one smaller in each dimension. So you break a four by four matrix into three by three matrices and find the determinant for those. From here you find the determinant for each of those three by three matrices, just like before. And I know this is crazy and it turns into a huge amount of work, but really, as matrices get bigger, it doesn't get harder, there's just many more steps. So hopefully you won't have to do too many of these by hand. I really hope this helped you understand how to find the determinant of a matrix. I know it's a lot to wrap your head around, but remember, you don't have to do it alone. And if you don't like math, that's okay, you don't have to. But you can like my video, so if you did, please like or subscribe.